welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is a very on mass code at this side so in this video we are going to discuss the question maximum tip calculator right so what does the problem say the problem is actually very simple the problem statement is actually very crystal clear you have two arrays first array second array right first array is one two three four five and second array is five four three two one now what does x and y signify x and y signifies that i have to choose less than equals to three values from the first array less than equals to three values from the second array x is for first array and y is for second array this is the first point second point why do i have to choose so among each order among each order this is my order number zero this is my order number one order number two order number three order number four the first and the second array are the number of tips the first waiter will receive the first uh, one tip from the order number zero second waiter will receive five first waiter will receive two four three three four two five one this is a problem statement right now you want to maximize the sum of tips you want to maximize the sum of tips maximize the sum of tips right okay that is you have to maximize that is if i am taking five from here and if i am taking one from here five is maximum so i will choose five right okay if i am taking four from here two from here four is actually maximum so i will choose four right this is a problem right you have to maximize the sum of tips but my approach was my first approach was that i it is very actually very easy i will traverse in this direction i will traverse from zero up till four and i will choose the maximum that is five is maximum here four is maximum here three is maximum here four is maximum here five is maximum here i will take the sum that is five plus four plus three plus four plus five my answer will be five plus four plus three plus four plus five but it is true in this case why because i am able to choose three three values but if something like this arises if something like this arises suppose my first array is five and six and my second array is three and um, let's say two right this is my second array but x equals to one and y equals to one that is x equals to one y equals to one what will i do now i can only take one value from this now if i try to use that up that approach only five is also greater than three six is also greater than two but i cannot take two, two values i have to take one value i have to take one value because my x is a limiting factor here so what will i do what will i do see it is foremost clear that if i'm not taking this i will have to take this if i'm not taking this i will have to take this right okay so first case is i take five with two and second case is i take six with three this will give me the sum of seven this will give me the sum of nine right obviously 9 is greater so i will be returning 9 right that i will be choosing this value and this value right but how do i reach to that conclusion so my first approach was using dp was using dp that is i will explore all the cases for the given set of array and x and y explore all cases taking array brr x y all of them into account all of them into account but that was a problem why because it would have been taking a paroxa time off because this is of length n this is of length n x and y that is n into n into x into y but the expected time complexity shown to me is n log n so when i saw n log n my first thing that clicked to me was sorting that it will be sort uh, it will be solved using sorting now how how will i use the concept of sorting to solve this question how will i use the concept of sorting to sort to solve this question now if it is clear that i have to choose one value among each index for index 0 i have to choose one value for index 2 i will for index 1 i have to choose one value how should i increase the sum how should i increase the sum right so i saw that if i take the differences the absolute difference here is 2 absolute difference here is 4 it is not it is actually very clear that i will choose 6 over 5 that i have to choose if i have to choose only one value i will prioritize 6 over 5 why because it is giving me the sum more it is giving me more sum because of this 4 if i take this 2 instead of this i will lose 4 points but if i take this 3 instead of 5 i will lose 2 points so i will try to lose minimum number of points that is i will be trying to use the 4 part of it that is 6 that is when my approach clicked to me what is the approach i will create a new array i will create a new array create a new array which looks something like this it will look something like pair of int with pair of int int right so what will i do this int will store the absolute difference 
absolute difference between ARRI minus BRRI and this value is for ARRI and this value is for BRRI now what will I do I will sort it I will sort it in, the, in which order now I want the maximum difference to be first because I want to uh, prioritize here so I will be sorting it in descending order I want this value to come first 6 comma 2 5 comma 3 I want my sorted array to look something like this so I will sort it in descending order and because I have declared first value is ABS this value that means it will be sorting in descending order according to this value only descending order right this will give me the array and now what I will do I will just do something like this that is if I try to use this example 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 4 3 2 1 what are the absolute differences 4 2 0 2 4 if I sort it down according to the uh, what do we say descending order in the case of absolute differences what will it look like it will look something like this will come first this will come second this is first this is second this is third this is fourth and this is fifth the last element now what will I do I will try to keep something like this for i going from 0 to when traversing all of them if my x is equal to equal to 0 what does that mean i cannot take the second value but I, I don't care about the absolute difference but i cannot take the second value in that answer plus equals to what do i take i take the second value that is v of i dot second dot second right if y equals to equal to 0 this is the else case if y equals to equal to 0 in that case dot first right but in the else case if x and y both of them are not 0 I can choose any of them then what will I choose I will choose the maximum one why will I choose the maximum one because I know that I have already sorted in descending order so I have to choose the maximum one here to so choose maximum among them plus if you choose the first one then x minus minus if you choose the second one then y minus minus this is the only thing I want to tell you right so this is my answer this will give me my answer let us try to move to the code I hope the question is actually very clear to you I have tried to explain it with all my concerns because this actually needs some intuition right if you have you have to apply some mind okay let us move to the code now all right here is the coding section I hope you are getting the approach I am going to use but before that if you are new here and if you have not subscribed my channel please 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 do consider subscribing because it really means a lot to me right let us move on what will I do I will first create an array so vector of pair of int for absolute difference for first value for second value right let us name it as v now for int i going from 0 up till array dot size i plus plus because both of the sizes are same right so what will I do v dot push back first I will push back the absolute difference so absolute value of ARRI this is a square bracket here minus BRRI right with first value that is ARRI and BRRI right now I will sort the array sort v dot r begin why r begin because I want to sort it in descending order with v dot r end this will give me the sort uh, descending order now what will I do I will say my long long answer is currently 0 now start traversing so for int i going from 0 i less than uh, v dot size i plus plus first case if my x is 0 that is I cannot set the value from the first array I don't care about the difference now I will only set value from the uh, second array so answer plus equals to v dot second dot second else if my y is equals to equal to 0 I can only select from first value right so answer plus equals to v dot second dot first in the else case what will I do in the else case I will choose the maximum of value so if v dot second dot first is greater than v dot second dot second right if the first value is greater in that case x minus minus plus answer plus equals to v dot second dot first right and I will copy it down in the else case in the else case it will be looking something like y minus minus and v dot second dot second why are we minus because we are choosing the value right so we have to minus that we have used one of the value of x right after the for loop just return the answer so return your answer let us try to compile and run it it shouldn't find I guess should not give any error 
oh it is giving an error what is the error member no no member named second oh it will be vi sorry it will be vi above also it will be vi right because we are choosing that uh, that index value right current uh, current index value let us try to compile and run it now oh again an error okay at the time of comparing also sorry guys for the typing mistakes let us try now should run fine i guess all right running fine let us try to submit as well it will run fine most probably okay running counter going up and thank you have a nice day it is a 179 day streak a long streak i believe so thank you for watching we meet again tomorrow till then don't stop your hustle and keep coding keep struggling okay thank you have a nice day